A local family's nativity pageant has been drawing crowds since 1988, and on this freezing night, they did it again just outside their home in Cottonwood Heights. The specialist Matt Rascone giving us a closer look at what keeps them going each and every year. After a break last year because of COVID, this tradition is back, complete with a cast, a crew, and a set that has kept this nativity going for 33 years. For as long as many can remember. Let's bring the animals over. It's not the lights or the tree. Maybe let's do that one for the cow over here. But the set of the nativity. Their friends really didn't know much about Christmas other than Santa Claus and reindeer. That really brings the Christmas holiday to the Tuttle home. Why don't we kind of do a little nativity so the children can learn what Christmas is really all about. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus. Over the years, it's become an annual tradition. Beginning with their own children playing the parts. It was always a special year when we got to be married. Mary was the <laughs> coveted role. The scene outside their home now brings in hundreds of spectators and a cast of neighborhood children. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. I was kind of scared since it was like I'd be standing up in front of a whole bunch of people, but it was fun. Put children together with these animals and the, and the Christmas story, its it, you just can't fail. The Tuttles didn't plan to keep this going when they started in 1988. We've kind of kept that simplicity that we started with, you know, 33 years ago. But like the story of Christmas. Where is he that is born King of the Jews? The Tuttles message, year after year, remains the same. Just to feel the spirit, that light, you know, that just will come and we'll all feel again and again. A holiday tradition that is here to stay. Probably go on to the next generation. We'll, yeah. we'll see what happens. This is a one night event and the family says they will be back next year, of course, with the animals. Matt Rascone, KSL 5 News.